excited about the day. You know what I'm saying? Frankenstein Brothers, about to do it to you. Hey man, you ready to go? Yeah, let's do it. Hurry up. Trying to get this fat be going happening. <laughs> so what are we gonna get done today? Uh, I figured today we go like get some laps or some jogging, something like that. We yeah, that's what's up. Um, now I'll be honest with you, I smashed this pizza last night. <laughs> I'm not even lying, I smashed that pizza last night. On the trail. I don't know, man. I, all I know is it's gotta, it's, it's gotta work out. I'm gonna have you drive. Okay. All right, let's go. All right, we're hitting the other trail. We can get up here real quick and get out the truck and. Oh! <laughs> You're, oh God, that's somebody's house is, is screwed. You're done. Wow. Hmm. Got ducks at least. There are literally ducks swimming in the street. <laughs> All right. So it would hmm. appear we can try one more part. Yeah. 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 Let's 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 do that. Okay. We can probably break off over here real quick. Yeah. yeah see if we can find another route. Yeah. <clears throat> we can't get through here, man. I don't know. Cause you know what Snoop said. What's that? It ain't no fun if the homies can't run. Right. You know what? We could always go swimming though. I heard it laps no are good fun for me. If the man, homies this looks, can't this looks dry, run. Okay. Okay, we good. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, good. Cool. Party time. Yeah, get it. Let's get it. Party time, baby. I swear to God, when that brother said bone saw is ready, right. <laughs> I'm like, whoa! Bone, bone saw, saw is, is ready. Right there. Man, that cat. It's, it's just too bad, you know, when you're when your childhood heroes go, yeah, it sucks. That you know, that's I one of those guys the I really wanted. Very first Macho Man fight. Yeah, and he became the Macho Man, and he just kind of came out of nowhere. He beat the shit out of Tito Santana. <laughs> really? <laughs> you know, yeah. You know, Tito usually hit people with that flying burrito. Macho Man went in his drawers, pulled out a, a little piece of metal, <laughs> and smacked him in the head with that. It was over for the flying burrito. Jeez. Whoa. Ah, golly, okay. Guess we're not hitting that trail. Well, well god dang. Hmm. Let's hit the gym. Yeah. Or we could feed the ducks. <laughs> I don't know, man. Something about the, the, the ducks, the gym. <laughs> gym ducks. Gym ducks. It's duck the gym. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that sucks. Yeah. Oh, really? All right. To the gym. Gym ho! That's a hack called Jim Duggan. <laughs> now you got me in the run already. Nah. You know what they say, bro. What's that? When you need to play, you can do it at the YMCA. <laughs> nah, let's not sing that song. <laughs> just chill and just sing the song. They should have made somebody rap it. Like, when did that song come out? 76. Mo D was there. It could have had somebody nah, hit he it. Went around back. Yo, you can meet me at the YMCA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just hit him with that. They have to do that. Yeah, that's the spot, though, man. I ain't been here in a minute. Yeah, I love this place. Ah. Party time! I'm on the wrong side. Yeah, I got my stuff in there too. Okay. It's go time. At least it's not wet. No, at least it's not <laughs> flooded. <laughs> Flooded Y is bad for this guy. Thank you. So it's been a minute since you've been back up in here, huh? Yeah, too long. About two years? Well, in this specific, like why I'm here, yeah. We popped up maybe, ago, maybe six, seven months. Hey, it's been a You up. All right. Yep. It's my set, baby. It's your set. Oh, All right, bro. <laughs> Game time. You know the rule, right? Yes, sir. No nuts in the face when you spot. I would appreciate that. I swear to God. My children. No nuts in the face when you spot a guy. <laughs> Party time. All right, let's go. All right, man. Game over. Oh, man. <laughs> you feel that? Feel it like uh, feel it like I got five hands. 
crazy times. Did some really nice stuff. I'm excited to show it off. Man, I love this car. Everything about it. See, the best part about it to me is the fact that you can play with this all year long. Yeah, I agree. This is, uh, this, this is, is, I call it the Silver Hawk. Silver Hawk. Uh, ideally, you know, it's, it's, it's fast, uh, strong, aggressive. And like you said, it's that all year vehicle. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. I believe in the best of people, you dig? Gotta give people a chance to be themselves. I believe we're all capable of being our best. I do not believe, so I believe the best in people, but I believe people will not always give you their best. That's true. So when they do, I'm surprised. I'll be like, so oh, really I'll be surprised all day. So you don't really believe it? Nope, I'll be like, oh man, that was good. Like, that was nice, thank you. Can you imagine if a girl said that in bed with you? Oh wow, that was actually good. I mean, that might hurt your feelings. <laughs> well, I'm married, so yes, it would hurt my feelings. <laughs> I go, my God, David, that was amazing. Check, what was it the other time? This is a pretty good apple. Freaking phenomenal. Now, it could be because you're just straining the crap out of yourself. You may buy some pitted ball nutrients. Or, it could be truly an excellent apple. So, what did you end up doing to this so far? So far... So I've been here in a second. Well, we didn't do much, really. Um, right now, it's just locating parts. I'm looking for a more organic uh, shape. You know what I mean? Something that's nice and flow real nice. Organic shape. Well, you know, like the hips of a woman. <laughs> sure. Woman who got her mouth blew out. <laughs> Maybe she's a... Uh, I ain't going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I know you won't. <laughs> But what I'm saying is, to all the ladies out there, we love you. <laughs> love the ladies. We love, love the ladies. Man. Love the ladies. Um, basically, I want a shape that's gonna be a lot more flowing, and it's gonna curve in and come back out. Yeah. And of course, a lot of things have to go. You have to get a new hood, new fender, new grill. Now um, you, you said you end up uh, getting the bed, right? Yes, we got the bed. Let, let's the bed. let's let's see that. Okay, let's go see it. Man, this guy's got a Mini Cooper farm, doesn't he? Right. <laughs> Makes me want to build another Mini. He's growing them on trees. Look at that thing. Right. That, that red boy with the white on it? That's nuts. I told you earlier, I want to get one to all black. Now, if you have your choice. Put that Jamaica on the, on the roof. Would you do the Mini or would you do the Beetle? I'll do the Mini. Uh, to me, the Mini is aggressive. It's dope. Uh -huh. uh, it's naturally lower. A little bit. But it's got a lot of the same stuff. Yeah. Just something about that uh, Beetle ain't right with me. Well, that's because no one's ever done them right. Makes you want to take bubble baths and, <laughs> and be emotional. <laughs> Fondue. <laughs> Fondue is just I'm emotional. Yeah, I'm straight, man. Okay. So this is the bed right here. It's going to need a lot of metal work. Fiberglass work. Yeah. This is, man, this is dope. But I think this right here, this shape right here is a little better for what I want to do with it. I think this will work. Yeah, I agree. I think this is hot. The the width you talked about on the hips. Yep. I like how it kind of just tapers rolls that way. And then this one's already wide too. Yep. So if you get the 10 inch or better, it'll still sit well. You can actually go like I mean this is almost made for double wheels. I was I was tempted to go with a 20 uh 22 by 12 inch rim. I'm not sure if that would work though. 22 by 12, it would. That's just a lot of rim. A lot of meat. You'd have to do a stagger because the, the front can't handle 12. Right. The front may be like a 10 inch rim. Let's go see what else we can find, man. You got it. Let's go. Yeah, this is the one I was talking about. I think this is a, this might be something. Oh, shit. Can't get it in there. I was trying to say this was a turbo version. You know, they make turbo versions of these. Yeah. If it was, I would know. Although RS. Or something. Get back, look at the RS package and see what it is. Or I'll snatch the in and we can find out. Actually, huh. Funny you should mention. Look at him, the code cracker. Pop up. Yeah, I'm all about this right here, man. Somebody, you know, want to sit wide and low? Book it. 
give them a fast little whip. Well, see, that's the thing. I'm not seeing the best cars in the world. So that, yeah, if you bought this, you're not going for everything, everything. You just you want to get on base. Right. I party with this. I think I could. The whole center stack, that chromed out stuff. Yeah, that stuff is dope. Now this might be something. What's that? Got that traverse. Yeah, boy. Looks Ooh, like man. about a ten right there. He's a, he's a thing. Engines are cheap for these things. What do you think? Three sixes ain't that hard to come by. Well, not really, but the problem is most three sixes. I don't know. We can make it work. Yeah, I, I think it's if worth it's worth to, keeping in mind for well, somebody who might want to fool with it. Well, let's look at it now. What are you thinking? Um, I don't think it. You know, just a flip. Or are you talking about actually doing it? Yeah, just a flip on the aesthetic piece. Yeah. Don't do nothing. Tires are great. Yeah, it's got good rubber. Just scrub it, clean it. The interior screwed. Air blows cold. Now I ain't trying to knock these cats, because believe me, I hug trees as well. But this thing is loaded with dirt all up inside. It's like they left the thing open and let it get rained on or something. Probably. Or somebody had a pissing match in the back seat and the real piss. So we gotta figure something out. <laughs> yeah, so other than that, I think um I think that'd be something. This one this one will go. Maybe. Alright, party on. So how you feel about today? Man, so today was kinda interesting. Um I didn't get so th there's a couple things that happen when you build cars. Sometimes you make a bunch of leaps and bounds, and other right. times you just make small steps. Right. I think the small steps are important, otherwise you don't get to the big steps. Right, right, definitely. We had to get the certain parts set aside, you know, we have to make sure we just do deals. At the same time, you know, we got to the gym, that was nice. You know, how you feel about the extra sets? <laughs> uh, I was good, man. I was surprised you, uh, you, you, you and the 300 was uh, interesting. You're telling me, at uh, one time I was killing myself. <laughs> <laughs> and even more than that, too, um, what it really shows is, you know, just like in, in life, and the cars, I think something we said at the gym is really important. What's that? If you're going to quit on a project, quit when you've done all you can. Right, right, definitely. Uh, something you were saying earlier at the gym, you was like, what'd you say? Uh, quit at the gym. Don't quit yeah. before you ever leave the house. And, and that's what I think the point is. If you're going to quit when it comes to working out, life, goals, whatever the case is, mm -hmm. I think the gym is just an example of all of the place where you're at your most productive. Right. Where you don't get nothing started until you go there. To me, the shame of it would be to quit when you're still in your bed, in your house, half asleep. Snuggled up warm. Put your clothes on, get the protein popping, mm -hmm. get in the car, drive the miles, show up at the gym, work out, or just show up and then quit. Right. And right. you'll find if you at least get to the dance, when you get there, you're going to feel like partying. Right. Once you show up, you are amazed at how easy it is just to progress slowly through it. I mean, it's like milk and mire sometimes, especially after doing the same routine for years. Yeah. But you gotta remember, this is about you. Just like Aunt Bobby was there. She's there on Saturdays. So she's there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yeah. I mean, good look. What excuse you got? You know what I mean? And let's be clear. <laughs> At the point when Aunt Bobby has time to be there, despite all that she's got going on. Right. I think that says anybody could be there and anybody can accomplish anything. It's about how bad you want it. And right, put in the work. Like you said, show up to the gym, go do whatever you're gonna do. It doesn't matter if it's the gym, if it's working on a vehicle, if you gotta pay your bills on time. Make the work, do the work to get there, and then worry about whether or not you can finish, you can follow through. I agree. So there you have it, folks. Thank you for tuning in to another video of the Frankenstein Brothers. If you can, do me a favor and go ahead and hit that like button. In fact, I dare you to do it right now. In addition to that, share this video, like it, subscribe. And if you wanna see something different, you wanna see what cars and projects you've got, feel free to drop something in the comment section for me. From me, and me, and him, to you, it's been us. Let's get out of here.